All right, hey guys, I'm super excited to jump in today because we have the final, I'm talking the number one final expense sales tool, final expense business in a box. It's like, dude, it's like everything you want to do, guys. And, 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 and Joseph's going to show it and actually walk through it today. You can put it, it's like it's like taking everything and putting it into a briefcase, but actually putting it on your computer. It's super impressive. I want to walk through this thing. If you're selling final expense, other products to come. Joseph, dude, thank you so much for agreeing to do this, buddy. Thanks for having me on, Cody. I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to share my screen here. Let me know if you can uh, see everything okay. Hey, well, but before you do, what was the um, what was the uh, reason for creating this? Was it like, dude, I see some massive holes in the market that I need to address? That was, that was the big thing is that the constant questions at my old IMO, was, it was like a weekly joke where someone would ask, where can I play COPD? Where can I play Spariva? And the head of the IMO, it was almost a copy and paste answer. Not that he did that, but every single week. And we had... The best, I mean, I was agent hotlines, group chats. I mean, you had every tool and agents kept asking the same thing. So I thought, what if there's got to be a better way to do it? You know, there's yes. got to be a way to put some of this knowledge in your pocket besides just a PDF cheat sheet. So that's kind of where it all came from. And it's developed a lot since then. Dude, so um, how, how did you get so freaking smart to, to build like CRM, underwriter, quoter, legion for your site, like all this into this incredible software that we're about to show everyone? Well, the, the easy answer is I'm not. Uh, my partner, Frankie, he handles all of the, the tech side, the code side. I know nothing about that. I just kind of steer the ship and handle all the data on the final expense and the underwriting side. Uh, so the, the answer is it's not me. It's all my partner who does all the coding. And we have a separate designer who handles everything you interact with as well. I love it, man. Well, dude, I'm super excited to see it. I know others are super excited to see it. So let's dive in, man. Take over, buddy. Appreciate you. Yeah, let's there. do it. So before we go right into it, I'm just going to show you quickly the site and discuss our pricing. So Cody, I think you said on Saturday about like duplicating yourself. So if you have an agency, if you, you know, you're an IMO owner, this is final expense tool. It's basically the closest you're going to get to duplicating yourself and giving it to your agents outside of just a PDF cheat sheet. So the number, our number one goal is to change the industry and to keep the product available and affordable to everyone. So you can see our pricing here. We, we put it this way and if this is not intro pricing, this is how it's going to stay. So for the for most people, you're going to be looking at the two, the agent and the business. The only difference is that we give you like this individual URL. There's no underwriting with it, but you can share it around. The only difference is that the business plan gives you unlimited number of quotes per day. Like if you're putting it on your website or something like that. But the software itself is unlimited no matter what you get. Uh, then we have the agency package for smaller agencies. And then if you have a larger organization, you can always contact us. So um, we do discount it another 15% annually. So yeah, these are super reasonable, man. Like this is, this is so inexpensive that anybody watching this is selling final expense. It is a complete no brainer to sign up. This is unbelievable, bro. Thank you. Yeah. We, we do want to keep it. Number one goal is affordable and available. So it um, doesn't discount the work we put into it, but I'll hop right into here. I'm so, going to spend, I, I, I spend more at Starbucks, like the next <laughs> The rest of the week than than I could on this whole software platform every month. This is amazing. Hey, yeah, well, we get the uh, the comments all the time. Why don't you price it more? Like, what's the catch? And then there isn't one. We just wanted to keep it affordable, and we want to get it in the hands of as many agents as possible. So before I actually jump in, I'm gonna nip in the bud to two of the most common questions we get. Is number one, is there a dialer built in? The answer is not yet, but we are building in a Twilio dialer. Uh, hopefully, within beginning of quarter three is when we estimate that will be in. And then the second question is always, when is term coming? So we are actively working on term right now. That will be included for free to anyone who uses Fix Toolkit, um, but that's probably uh, end of March, early April is when we plan to start rolling that out, and we'll send out emails and social posts uh, at that time as well. So before I actually get into the software, one quick thing I'll show is what we pride ourselves on is customer support. So when you reach out to us, we're going to be there. So let me just show you here. This is like a chat bot. So whenever you send a message here, it sends a message to myself, my partner, our designer, and Chris Smith, who works with us on the software. So I'll just do a little test here. Hey, I need some help with the software. So I'm just a random user. I'm not signed in and we'll just wait. I'll just put it in here. Wow. And you can see Frankie is responding. And we should do you guys, did, what I want to know is do you guys freaking sleep, man? Like this is unbelievable. No, the, the funny thing is I was on, uh, I think it was 1230 last night and the week before chatting with a guy who just likes to message us late. So you can see Frankie just responded there. So we, we try not to sleep. It's a seven day a week thing. Holidays don't matter. So this is our, this is our primary focus. Damn, so, man. That, that's commitment. You can tell you're obsessed with helping agents because that's that's super unique, bro. Absolutely. So I'll X that out there. And so let's get right into the settings page first. So settings page, a few things. So this is the light link that I mentioned before. So this is just a shareable link. So I'm just going to show you here. I'll paste it into a new tab. So it's just a light version of the software that you can share around. So there's no underwriting with this. I'll just run a quick quote just to show you what it looks like. 
and it just shows the companies here. So there's no underwriting, nothing special here. It's just a, you can bookmark it on your phone. It's mobile friendly. You can share it around, send it to a client if you want. You can filter out the companies that show. So we like to give everyone access to the light link. Uh, next is the embeddable oh, HTML. So, yeah, th thank you. We, every quote in our system returns in under one second because we know that whether you're selling over the phone or in person, every second is important. There's no compromise for speed. So everything you can put in Dang. every health condition in the system, it will return the quote within one second. Um, I love that, man. I'm, I'm a big proponent and a big believer in speed and scaling with speed and doing stuff quickly, especially like you're right. You're on the phone selling somebody. You don't have to wait or having tech problems in the middle of it. So that's absolutely there. There's no excuse for speed. It's got to be fast. I run a call center myself and I know that every single second is important. So we don't compromise on that. Uh, second thing is the embeddable HTML. So this we give this to every user so you can just copy. We even have a video up on YouTube how easy it is. It takes a few minutes. You just literally paste it into your website. And this is what it would look like. So if you want to generate leads, you can use it for agent, uh, agent facing or client facing. So let me just, I'll show you an example of how it integrates into our system. So I'm just going to run a basic quote. It doesn't really matter the state here. We'll just put age 60. I'm going to hit get quote. So when the person gets the quote um, on your website, it'll come up to this page here. And then you can see the contact buttons on the right. So if, okay, someone's looking through and you, again, you can filter out the companies that show here. Let's say, Oh, they know Mutual of Omaha. That's a company that recognizes. Contact us. So let's put in, let's put in my name, put in my email, and we'll put in my phone number. We'll say 10 a.m. and 123 Main Street. Looking forward to your call. And you hit send. So now, and I'm going to turn this. I might have missed it, but it sends an email notification right there. So a lead's been added to the CRM. Wow. Turn this back on. Then if I head over to the software, you can see the lead that I just did is now sitting in there. And if we expand that lead, you can see it's already been dispositioned. All the information I put in Jeez. right there. So that's something that uh, we think is important because especially for the pandemic, a lot of stuff is pushed online. And if you're not, if you don't have an online presence, you're probably missing out on some business. So. Um, yes. Every user gets access to that, and it's really as easy as copy and paste. Dude, you so. you are uh, you can tell you eat, breathe, and sleep this man because you are you, you are you are like it's just second nature. Like you're just moving, flying. I'm like, dude, this is thank this you. Is and I'll cool. I'll show you one other thing while we're on that topic. So we do make our to do list public because we get all kinds of uh, recommendations all the time. Oh yeah. So this that. is on our social media. So every week we do a change log of what we improved that week. These are the things we're working on now. This is our general to do list. We have things to do with our mobile app, and then this is kind of back burner items for a little bit later. So whenever you suggest something to us, it doesn't just go into a black hole where we say we're going to work on it. You can actually see how it's going to go through our process and how we work on it. And you can get updates. You can clarify on things. So we keep everything transparent so you can see that we're actually working for you, uh, not the other way around. Your money's going somewhere every month. So love, love that. So we're going to so for today, we're just going to uh, leave on pretty much everything. I'm going to turn off some of the MM rate packages just because there's no real sense in leaving all of them on. But we have pretty much every major carrier. We're working on getting a few others in uh, Royal Arcanum, Baltimore Life. There's a few stragglers, but pretty much every major final expense company is in the software uh, as of today. And then we do have what is important is our telesales toggle. So again, I mentioned that I run a call center and a lot of us are now selling over the phone. So the telesales toggle takes away all that guesswork or that those uh, changes that happen when you sell over the phone. You have assurance. You get limited to 15,000. Prosperity, no voice signature and PA. Mutual of Omaha, you better make sure you're not faking that email signature, stuff like that. Um, it filters all of it and it reminds you while you're uh, using the software. And I'll show you some of the differences that it does in a second. But the t uh, telesales is pretty important to a lot of our users. So we want to emphasize that there. We're going to leave it off for now just so we can see everything. But for now, we are going to go forward. So love it. Thank you. So we're going to, first thing we're going to look at is the drug lookup tool. So a lot of people ask, why do we have the birthday? So we have the birthday and just to make sure you're getting the most accurate results, same thing with states. Certain products aren't available in certain states at certain ages, product availability changes. And for example, companies like Transamerica care about the date diagnosed. We want to make sure we're giving you the right answer. So for now, we'll just keep it as 1-1-1960. And we'll type in very common medications for Reba. So they're taking it for COPD. We'll say the first fill was a number of years ago, back in 2016. And you can see the companies come up here. And if you mouse over the little question mark, it'll actually tell you why. Because we don't want this tool to be a crutch. We want it to be a learning tool so that you can, the best underwriter is always going to be yourself. So if you can learn the underwriting, we love that. We just want this to be a tool to assist you to underwrite better because there's things that none of us can memorize completely. 
um, and then show you here. So if you add on things, so I'll just add on one that doesn't really make any change. We'll add on lisinopril, nothing changes. But then if we add on, we'll just say something like the nepazil. It's going to pretty much knock out most things. So as you add on drugs, it knocks things out. So the drug lookup is obviously built into the main quarter, which I'll show in a second. But we have this separated just so that, you know, client says, I take this, where can I go? If you don't want to run a full, if you don't want to run a full quote, you can just do it on the drug lookup tool. So that's wow. something that we broke off. I mean, you, you, have, you have agents calling up lines like every appointment with these types of questions that they don't never have to do again now if they don't want to. Yeah, we, we don't want to ever say that this is going to remove. It's always great to have a great support system, a good upline, be in the group chats and all that. But if you can do the majority of it, we liken it to a GPS. If the GPS can get you 95% of the way there, if you need to drive the last few hundred feet to park, great. We, if you want to call your upline and all that. But we want to give the agent the tools to be able to do as much as they can themselves. Because before yes. COVID, I was running a field agency myself. We were doing a little over a million analyzed. But most of my day was spent or... Most of my day being most of my time interacting with my agents was basic underwriting questions. So it was calls and it was eating into my productivity. I'm sure it was eating into theirs. So think about it. if you can run a few extra appointments a year, you're going to get a few more cases placed here that can really add up whether you're an agent or an agency. So yes. we'll take a look now at the health cheat sheet. So the health cheat sheet is essentially what those PDFs that we all share around are. We just digitized it and we added a little bit more information on it. So if we type in a condition like atrial fibrillation, it pops up in an alphabetical order, the carriers that we have turned on. And what I'll point out is, and I'll show this with a few other conditions, we actually show everything on the cheat sheet. So if you look at a, most cheat sheets for AFib, it'll tell you within two years, Moo graded. We make sure to indicate on there if diagnosed within a year, it's a decline because Moo cares about a heart condition diagnosed within a year. So we try to list every possible piece of information on the cheat sheet as well. So I'll show you that with another, this one's a little bit more in depth. So past cancer. You can see there's all different carriers of all these kind of different questions like metastatic cancer. They've had cancer more than once and we list these on the cheat sheet. So when you're looking at this carrier, you make sure you're getting all the right pieces of information so you can ask those to your prospect. And we'll add on one more here just to show you what this one looks like. So you can see bedridden if it's currently bedridden decline. So we don't just list because a lot of cheat sheets that I've seen, they just list like the company or they don't list everything. So here, you know, you're getting everything. You get the condition, yeah. you get the time frame. It just makes sense. And it's all the same format. So that's something that is pretty important for us to do. That's awesome. Thank you. And now we're going to head over to the main part, which is the quota itself. So this is where you'll spend most of your time. And this is the main quota. So we do have this toggle up here. It's the same thing as that light link. If you just want a cleaner interface, you can just toggle it over to light. It removes the underwriting completely. You don't need to put in the underwriting even on this side of it, but we just have that in there. Some people like toggling it off. If you're flipping it around for a client, maybe just maybe it looks a little bit cleaner. Um, so what we're going to do is just firstly, we're going to plug in some, before we actually run a quote, I'm going to show you why this isn't just like a computer. It's like having an underwriter like myself or Chris Smith, someone who really knows the products in your pocket. So let's put in some drugs. So we'll put in metaprolol and we'll just say it's for high blood pressure. The first fill doesn't really matter in this case. We'll then put in carbidolol for quote unquote high blood pressure. And then the same thing, we'll put in spirono lactone for quote unquote high blood pressure as well. So you can see it auto suggests CHF here. So if someone's taking this combination of medications, they might not, but it's probably a good idea to follow up and ask if they have congestive heart failure. Now certain carriers like real neighbors will have certain indications built in, but we have these in here so that if you put in the combination of drugs, it's gonna remind you. Uh, we'll mm. do yeah, so that's that's important to know. And we have, a, we have a number of those in there. And we'll put in one more. So I'll take those out. And we'll put in, this is probably the most common one. Yeah. If, if you're an agent, you probably know what I'm about to do. So the gabapentin metformin. Totally. Plug that in. And these are, well, I'll explain the follow-up questions in a second, but auto suggest diabetic neuropathy. Now, of course, there's some carriers like American Amicable, Assurant, but with the right explanation, it can still go a mediator level. But we like to add that in there just so that you know, maybe you want to ask a follow-up question for a newer agent, maybe they don't know, um, gives you that opportunity to ask that again to the client. So let me we'll remove this and we're going to run. Oh, go ahead. I love that. That takes some of the, uh, the, 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 I mean, a lot of new agents may not know that, right? So it's, uh, it's nice that you're, you're putting that on there. So they at least think to remember to ask. So Thank you. We, we do our best to make sure every indication is in there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to ignore the health part for a second. We're just going to run a regular quote so I can point out some things on the software. And we're going to change this to graded just so I have a few more things to point out. So we get quote. You can see it returns right away. 
all the carriers. So a few different things I'll point out. Number one is the commission cut indicator. So of course it, it can depend on your contract. It's never going to be perfect, but for certain products, generally there are commission cuts. So we like to list those in the software so that if you see that green money sign, you might want to double check because there might be a commission cut. No one likes to get their commission cut. That's not fun. It's true. Um, yeah, I've, I've learned myself. I've written policies, one policy on a Royal Neighbors over 80. That was a 40% hit. So never Ooh. again. But um, yeah, you can see the I button here. So whenever a plan is graded, you know, modified, and in any way rated other than preferred immediate standard, you'll actually just be able to mouse over. Because of course, all these plans, you can see this is probably the most complicated one, prime term. They have all these different parameters, and it's impossible to memorize everything. So we keep it right at your fingertips so that if you need have any question about how a plan works, you can look at it right there. So it's all, and then of course, you know, home life is different in PA. So, so clean and simple, so clean. Thank you, we try to keep it as, you know, big logos and clean. And you can see the social security billing star on the left. So if a carrier does offer social security billing, you'll see a little star there. So that's helpful for, for your persistency. It keeps it keeps stuff on the books to 10, 15% more. So we try to highlight those carriers that do that with the star on the left. So look out for that as well. And we do hide if there's an annual rate you can see here. We're gonna talk about the CRM in a second, but if a company offers accidental, we auto run it in the menu here. So if you wanna quote them with the accidental, you can. I love so, it. Thank you. So we're going to now put in some medications. So I'm going to show some second level of indications of what we do. So first we'll go back to the Spirono lactone that I mentioned before. We'll just put it in for blood pressure and we're going to run the quote. So if we look here, a few different things you're going to see. So you're going to see this red dot on a few different carriers. So that means that it might be referred to an underwriter. It could be on the red flag list. Now, Sentinel says it'll likely be rated. So if you see this red dot for a medication or a condition you put in, usually a medication, it'll actually remind you, hey, maybe you want to go with a different carrier because this medication is on this carrier's list. Now, it might go through. So you can see we don't change the indication, but we let you know, hey, this is, this is on their list. Maybe you want to look somewhere else if you can. So we like to let the agent know every piece of information we can. Uh, we're also going to throw on here asthma. You so I, I'd skip. Go ahead. You would have saved me so much time in the field years ago. Yeah, I wish I had this kind of, that's how I build it, is I wish I would have had this myself when I started. Um, and something that you can see I've been skipping over is these questions that come up after the condition. So we call these follow-up questions or fringe questions. So our underwriting system is linear. So when you enter a condition, you don't have to click around on something. You don't have to look through another list of things. When you enter something, we're gonna ask you every relevant piece of information uh, after that question. So we call our underwriting system almost like a funnel. So we give you as few choices as possible at the top, then we expand things as we need to so that you can ask these questions. The other benefit to that is that we all don't use the same companies. You know, if certain companies care about, and I'll show you here, this is the one that I brought up before, the past uh, cancer. So I pop this in here. I have the carriers, all the carriers turned on. So GCU, Security National, carriers that care about the type of cancer, obviously, besides basal cell, will ask you the menu. Now, if I turn off Security National, GCU, and these, I think there's one other that we have, KSKJ in Cincinnati, that care about the type, it won't ask you because it's not relevant. Why waste your time? doesn't matter if it's breast cancer, prostate cancer. Most carriers will see it the same way. So in this case, they do care. So we'll just hit other. The data last treatment, we'll pop it back to 2015. And then you'll see some extra questions. So if they, have they ever had cancer more than once? No. Have they ever had metastatic cancer? No. Have, in KSKJ, have they ever, in the, in the past four years, have any chemotherapy or radiation? No. Done. So now we've entered every relevant piece of information. So we know that when we're running the quote, there's no surprises for the phone interview, the MIB checks. You know you've done everything you have to do. So that's a system that you'll see often in our software with these follow-up questions. So we'll do plug in a few more cases here. So let's plug in a combination that some people might not recognize. We're just going to put in lisinopril. We're going to put in amlodipine. And we're going to put in metoprolol. You, you can tell you know this stuff uh, like the back of your hand. Hey, I've been doing it since I was 18, so it kind of gets ingrained when this is the only you know real job I've, I've done in my life. But yeah. I enjoy it. So I can you can see I put in three blood pressure medications and you can see there's now there's a red dot on Liberty Bankers. So due to three or more blood pressure medications, it'll likely be pushed standard, not a guarantee, but it likely will. Now they don't publish that anywhere. Most people don't know that, but we do because we're agents. You now we, we get our software and all the information from myself and other agents in the business. So we let you know, it'll probably be pushed standard. Now, if you put this just in by itself, it wouldn't necessarily indicate anything, but we know that it will. So Mm. that's something that we feel all these I'm just trying to show you some of these second level indications not just run regular quotes um, and we'll do 
one more here just to, or a few more. So we'll do, let's say someone has COPD. Okay. Doesn't really matter. And then let's say they have multiple sclerosis. So if I run this quote, we're going to look at one carrier in particular. A few carriers do this, but in this case, GCU. So these two conditions are both standard conditions when you look at their application. But if you have two or more yes answers in the section, it turns modified. So Transamerica, a KSKJ, GCU, several carriers do this, and we have that in our software. So if you're entering something, it's going to actually show you the way the carrier would see it, not just based purely on the information you put in. So we like to emphasize that uh, for our users. And I think I already showed you the cancer system. So now let's say, let's run, let me just take this off and we're just gonna run a regular quote. So again, keep in mind, we built this from the perspective of an agent. So when you quote the client, you're not done. You then have to actually, or at least most of us do the ABC or the bronze, silver, gold, or the one, two, three close, where you show them the three different rates and you say, which one is best for you and your family. So in this case, let's say we're going to do Let's push over uh, Mutual of Omaha, or, you know, I like American Amicable. We'll push them over. So you can see all the information from the quarter page was pushed over to the right side of the quote compare tool, which is something I skipped over before. So a quote compare is our point of sale tool. So all the client's information is now here. We picked our product, and now we're going to run a quote. Let's just say five. We're going to run seven, five, and 10. So we hit get quote. And we're presented with our tiles. So this is designed if you're at the point of sale, you can flip the iPad around or your surface, whatever you use, and show the client. If you're in a telesales environment, you can just read them off right here. And you can see it's very quick. Everything's getting pushed over. You don't have to stall. There's no you know, waiting and talking, waiting for the quarter to load. Um, it's all right here. If you want to quote the accidental death, it shows you. Then if you're ready to head into your e-app, you can go right there and you're going to head right over to the application itself. So um, that is an, an, another important feature. You can head right over to the, if you know what you're going to use, you can just head right over, but we have that in there because that's kind of the process of the sales. You quote, or you, you pick the carrier you're going to use, then you quote. Then the final step is actually the CRM. So I'm going to go back over to the quoter. And for these purposes, I'm going to add in just two things. I'm going to add in lisinopril, just to show an example. And then I'm going to add in, I'm just going to add in a health condition, AFib. So let's say in this case, what I just put in would knock out move, but let's let's push over. Let's just say we wrote Forrester's on this client. Mm -hmm. So close the sale, it's sold. We're gonna push it over to the CRM. So we're gonna type this, we'll type you in here. We have all the carrier information there. We'll say one, two, three, Main Street. We'll just put in my number and then we'll put in my email. And we'll just say client was healthy. We hit save. Heck yeah. So, now this is pushed over to our CRM, which is HIPAA compliant. And we see that the sale we just made is now pushed over. So the interesting thing is, because this is built from a final expense agent's perspective, you can see the medical information is stored, again, HIPAA compliantly. So if you want to come back to that client, you know, what I do is just I call them in the four, two, two weeks or so when they get their policy in the mail. Then I call my clients at six months and 12 months because, you know, if you're not reaching out to your clients, you're leaving a lot of business on the table. Um, if they're not going to buy from you, they're going to buy from someone else because if they're a buyer, they're a buyer. So we have the notes that we put in here, medical info here. We can set an appointment with this client. Uh, we can see the basic overview here. We can disposition him. So let's just, say, well, we did sell this client. So we're gonna add it to sold. I think you would, I think you would have sold me a lot more premium just as a fun side note. Yeah, yeah I, pr I probably could have, but you know, some, some agents like me try to keep the premium a little lower. That's just my, my way of doing it, but. That's good, man. this is cool. Thank you. So you can see all the dispositions. You can put your interested, you can sort them. Um, if I want to import my CRM from another piece of software, you can do so. We have another YouTube video just showing how this works. It's very simple. I can add a client manually here. Then, of course, we have the calendar built in, so you can set your appointments, keep everything on here. And on the dashboard, you can set a reminder, you know, if I just sold you. So call Cody, we'll say, on Feb 10th. So make sure you got your policy. We'll set a reminder 10 minutes before just so I know. Oh, nice. And we will set it as February. You probably didn't need to put the date in there but we'll say we'll call you about 10 in the morning we'll hit save so now we have a reminder it'll email me ahead call cody reminded make sure he got his policy ask if he has any questions maybe you try to upsell him do you want to hey they approved you for two extra thousand for 20 bucks a month something like that we have the reminders in there as well wow so yeah and then the last thing i'll show you is you can actually push the case back over so if i follow up with you in six months yeah i want some more coverage what can you do you probably don't remember remember this client's exact uh, health conditions, health information, you just hit load quote file, 
and it pushes that client back over. Hey, Cody, you still t you still have the AFib, right? You're still taking those Cinepro for high blood pressure. So it all loads back in and you can just pick up where you left off uh, with that client. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to, uh, to do that. So wow. that is essentially the software. So we're, again, I showed you in the beginning, we're working on it every day. We add things all the time. We take feedback very seriously, but we were pretty happy with how far it's come. And we, we have a lot of people, hundreds of people, in fact, using it. And it's a big part of their businesses. How does someone, um, dude, how does someone get signed up immediately? Where they watch this, they're sitting here like, man, this is unbelievable. I'm ready to move forward. I got to try this. This is sick. How do I sign up right now? Yeah, so very simple. So you, all you do is, I'll, I'll log out for you here. You just go to fextoolkit.com and you hit sign up. So we, we did make a discount code for uh, for you, Cody. So it is 1% for 1% off. I'm kidding. It's not. It's 8%. So it's the word 8, and then I'll just type it in here so you see it. So 8 you type that in the promo code field will give you eight percent off for life um, and then you just pick one of the plans if you're a larger agency please do reach out to us first but we make it pretty simple all of our payments are handled securely through stripe um, so you should be able to sign up within a few minutes ideally but awesome that's, uh, love that man this is crazy again eight percent what, what, what we'll make sure we put the discount code and the actual sign up registration link in the description below this video as well um, man unbelievable job buddy anything else you want to add uh, that'll be it. Thank you for having me on, Cody. I really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you and and Frankie and the knowledge and what you guys are bringing to the table. Unreal. You guys are checking this out. You guys know we're going to bring you the top sales tools on the planet to help you sell more insurance. And I personally recommend and back FBX Toolkit. Go get it. Thank you. Guys. Thanks, Cody. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Anyone watching this can become a millionaire in our industry. Most people don't know this. Okay. 4% of all companies in the U.S. do seven figures a year. Here's also another stat most people don't know.